Wood Ducks fans have gotten way more than their money's worth so far this season. An unbeaten 5-0 record at Granger Stadium, including two extra inning walk-offs with Gatorade Bass Galore. A farewell season with quite the storybook start as the Woodies look to make it six tonight. As the fields were getting a good showering to prepare for another contest with the Shorebirds. The sun decided to go down, but Tommy Spate popped this ball way up. Top shelf was too tall for this shortstop. As Downey scores two in the first inning, manager Carlos Maldonado giving the signal and some claps boosting Daniel Cuevas groove as he steps into the RBI single and here comes Marcus Smith rolling in like an avalanche on a skier safe on the slide but the cherry on top of this Wood Ducks 8-2 win Jesus Lopez going going Gonzo a solo moonshot where this team looks night and day compared to their series loss to the Mudcats last week. Better approach better uh, they're more consistent at the plate and taking quality at bats and stringing them together so that's good to see and, and hopefully we can continue to do that. 6-0 at home going for 7 tomorrow at 7 o'clock. All right, over at the college baseball level, rival Tar Heels in NC State, Brandon Butterworth in the bottom of the ninth walks it off for the Wolfpack. What an unbelievable finish in Raleigh at Dale Park. Let's go to IHOP. The syrup is supplied, but NC State is bringing the butter. The the, the Wolfpack take down their heels in game one of the series and they'll play again tomorrow. Wow, what a finish. All right, let's check out the rest of baseball that's going on this weekend. UNC Wilmington at Northeastern. Campbell will head to New York taking on Hofstra. Wake Forest hosting Florida State. ECU back at Clark LeClaire with Wichita State following their unbelievable 13 any game against William and Mary this Tuesday and number seven Duke at number 23 Virginia Tech. All right, let's head on over to the court. The NBA plan was dominated by Goldsboro native Kobe White. On the brink of elimination, the former Tar Heel lit up the United Center scoring 42 points, grabbed nine rebounds and dished out six assists in Chicago's 131-116 victory. But here's the catch or why Kobe's career high night is in quotes. The play-in doesn't technically count towards a regular or postseason game, meaning his 42 points technically isn't in the scorebook, but in his mind, he's counting it. It was a dope moment for, for that to happen. Um, I'm thankful for it. Like I said, I'm thankful for the fans. Um, it, was, it felt like a playoff vibe, like the, the place was rocking tonight, and I'm definitely counting that as my career high. And so, I mean, it, it's on the stat sheet right here. So. So who will Chicago play next? It's going to be Northside Panther Bam Adebayo and the Heat, who played in front of a hostile 76ers crowd yesterday with an early lead at halftime, but ended up losing by just 1 point, 105 to 104, despite a wham-bam double-double of 10 points and 12 rebounds. So here's how Friday looks with one playoff spot remaining for each conference. Chicago Bulls at the Heat, the eighth seed, will be decided at 7 o'clock tomorrow. And then on the West, Kinston native Brandon Ingram and the Pelicans will get one last shot to sneak into the playoffs if New Orleans can beat Sacramento at 930. All right, down at Richlands and looking like Jerry Maguire on the phone is Mickey Mack with Taylor Anders and Isaiah Graham from Richlands Football, who all signed their letters of intent to play at Guilford College next year. Teammates, friends and family all gathered to watch the three put pen to paper to pursue an education and continue to play the game they love. And the best part is that they're not going alone, but have each other entering the next phase of their lives. We always talked about playing with each other since our freshman year, and now that that dream came true, it's about to be fun. We all going to go to work. I think it's awesome. You know, um, I'll have you know team camaraderie that I already have here. I can bring it with me. We're going to change the culture and just you know bring a whole different mindset to Guilford. So what Richlands really has, and make people interested in Richlands. <laughs> That's right. Let's go Quakers. Good luck to those boys. All right, and over on the ice, it's playoff time for your hurricane. Starting this Saturday, Carolina secured the number two spot over the week and will host the seventh seeded New York Islanders at five o'clock. The head to head from the season is Carolina two, one and one. And that'll do it for sports tonight. For News 12, I'm Luke Schwartz, and that's tonight's edition of Sports with Schwartz.